Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this video is for the 3GS users on the 6.15.00 baseband who may have bricked their device while updating through iTunes to 4.3.3 firmware, maybe updating to the 6.15.00 baseband failed while using Red Snow Ponage Tools Snow Breeze, but the point is your 3GS is bricked with the 6.15.00 baseband, and this video will show you guys how to fix it get it untethered, jailbroken, and unlocked on the 4.3.3 firmware. This video will also update any perfectly working 3GS on the 6.15.00 baseband to 4.3.3 firmware. Yes, it is untethered as well, and it's the exact same process as for those people who are bricked. If you're one of those who just wants to update, make sure to back up your 3GS, but okay, let's get started. On our desktop, we'll need two things. We'll need the custom 4.3.3 firmware I provide and iReb R4. All links can be found down below in the description where a link to my site will take you to all the links you need and a written guide there. But okay, so we're gonna need to plug in our iPhone first and launch iReb by right clicking it and run as administrator. Yes. And here we're gonna select the 3GS. Obviously we're not doing this on any other device and if you're doing this, stop right now because the 3GS is the only device that supports the 6.15 baseband on 4.3.3. Okay, so go ahead and click on iPhone 3GS. And as soon as we do that, we're going to be putting our device into DFU mode. So press the home and power in 3, 2, 1. Okay, press them together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. Now let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. iReb should recognize your 3GS and put it into Pwn DFU mode in just a second. There we go. Exploiting with Lime Rain and we are done. Okay, so close out of that. Now open up iTunes. And as soon as it opens, you guys will get a pop up telling you your 3GS is in recovery mode. So click OK. And now we're going to hold shift on our keyboards while left clicking restore. And we're going to select the 4.3.3 custom firmware. Click OK and restore. And your device will begin restoring now. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes, so you guys will have to be a little bit patient. For the most part, the restore should go very smoothly. If you guys are having any kind of problems, say 1015 error, the 1600 error, read my article down below in the description and it'll give you fixes for any error you guys may have. But okay, so if you guys are done restoring, your device of course will work. You'll have Cydia and you'll open it up and you guys are jailbroken, untethered on the 4.3.3 firmware. Now if you guys are looking to unlock, we have to do one more thing and that's to go into search and we're gonna search for Ultra Snow and click on it, click install, it'll ask you to respring. I recommend rebooting and then popping in your SIM card. Eventually it'll get service. So that's how you guys jailbreak and unlock on 4.3.3 firmware while restoring from the bricked 6.15.00 state. So thanks for watching this video guys. Really hope I helped you guys get your iPhone back up and running. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and enjoy the jailbreak and unlock on your now working iPhone.